Hmm? Oh yeah, I'm fine. You know I like scenic drives. Thinking of something? Um... No. Maybe a little. I just want to make a good impression on your mother. I mean, this could go either, Oh, look how beautiful she is! Or, is this harlot going to steal my baby from me? Oh no, I didn't mean that! Your mother sounds like a lovely lady. She's still your mom, though. Family should come before me. We only started dating, like, two months ago. Would you really consider me family? If you say so. It actually makes my heart bounce a little. Well, because... I don't really interact much with people's moms. It's... Kinda a new experience for me. Okay, deep breaths. I can do that. Oh gosh, we're already here. I'm okay, I think. Better now than to never be ready. I'm gonna be okay, I promise. Um, hello. It's really nice to meet you, ma'am. Yes, you can take my jacket. Thank you. You have a very lovely home. Uh, yeah. Let's go sit while we wait for dinner. My, how cozy this is. Oh yes, I'm enjoying myself so far. I know we just got here, but everything's really nice so far. The kitchen smells amazing from here. Ooh, a specialty? It must be good then. Oh, thank you, ma'am. You didn't have to get me water. I should have gotten it myself. Yes, you're right. Thank you again. Yes, the drive was very nice. You live in a beautiful part of town. I've never seen so many trees in full bloom before. Well, the, 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 there's not many trees in the city. They bloom, of course, but... Y y yeah. Why am I so stuttery? I'm not usually this nervous. Oh, yes, there are a lot of things to do out there. We go out and entertain ourselves. <laughs> We pretty much spend most of our time together outdoors. The park, shopping, the movies. If we find interest in something, we just go ahead and uh, go. Jesus, fuck, stop. Oh, dinner's ready. I'm definitely hungry. Why do I have to be so awkward? I can't see anything normal to your mother. Don't lie, I was a nervous mess. She probably thinks you want to marry a moron. I can't see her again. I'm so bad at talking to motherly figures. Can't we just go home? Okay, order me an Uber instead. Fine, I'll be outside then. Give me the damn keys. God damn it. Might as well just leave him there, but I'm too emotional to even drive. I'm such a loser. Oh, Jesus! Uh, uh, hi. Hold on. 
What was that? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Just fine. Uh, sure? Oh, you heard that, huh? I promise it wasn't their fault, and I didn't mean to do that in your home. You know? What do you mean? Well, yes. I've been not so festive today. I can't really tell you everything. Well, I'm dating your kid, and, uh, I don't know where things will go from here. If anything, I messed things up. More like, fucked them up. Why was I so nervous? I... I'm... not exactly good at, um, talking. Well, more like talking to mothers. No, I didn't have a mom growing up. Sorta. My parents divorced when I was three. She just... up and left. I saw her once after that, when I was five, and she had no interest in mothering at all. All she did was yell at dad for remarrying. Well, if it was a woman, I think she'd be less pissed. Bisexual, actually, but he's been happily married to Greg for the past 23 years. Greg is pretty much my... Mother figure, but not really. I know that doesn't make sense. I mean, when Dad first introduced me to Greg, I call him by his name. After a while, he became... God, it's embarrassing to think about it. I suppose children are embarrassing from time to time. <sighs> Dad was Dad, and Greg was... Mampa. He didn't seem to mind it. He'd laugh about it in my teens, which made me more embarrassed. I didn't want him to say it in front of my friends. Of course I love him. I looked up to him all my life. I don't know why I called him that, though. I guess I didn't understand how same-sex parents worked. Not like I batted an eye at it in the first place. Greg did fill in the missing hole that my mom dug up. I didn't mind it. Until I remembered that other kids had moms. I guess I grew up fearing that moms... were... kinda... terrible. I know. That part is common sense. That still hasn't gotten to the trauma part of my brain yet. I'm very sorry if I came across as a freak or rude today. You were supposed to have a pleasant get-together with your child and their partner, not to have a one-on-one -on -one with some stranger in their car. This isn't your first time doing it? And you don't mind? Well, uh, thanks. Do what? Start over? So you don't dislike me? <laughs> yeah, I did feel better letting that out, honestly. Maybe we should go back in the house like some normal folk do. But, uh... Would you mind if I... Oh! Uh, uh, um... <laughs> Mother's intuition, huh? Y yes ma'am. I'm, uh, feeling better already. Thank you. No, really. Thank you.